Hey guys, before we get started on the tutorial, I just wanted to throw a little side note in here I forgot to mention. If you know how to install SKSE like you've done that before, then you don't need to watch this. It's literally exactly the same procedure. So this is really only for new people, but if you if you don't know how to install SKSE and you've never done that before, by all means keep watching. Alright, let's go. Hello everyone. I got a new microphone set up. It should sound a lot better. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Starfield because it's here. Creation Kit 2 is not out yet, so we can't really make all that much, but nonetheless, Starfield Script Extender is here. So, you're going to need to know how to install that, so that's what I'm here to show you today. Now, the first thing you need to know is that this only works with the Steam version as of the time I'm recording this. That may change in the future, but right now it's only on Steam, so please keep that in mind. Uh, before we do any of this, you're going to need 7-Zip to do this. It's uh, very easy to install. I'm not going to go over it here. Um, but you just need to install 7-Zip. Link to that will also be in the description. Once you've done that, you're going to go to the Starfield Nexus and go to the Starfield Script Extender page. Once again, link will be in the description. Now, you're going to go into Files here, and you're going to click Manual Download. You don't want to download it with Mod Manager. Now, once you've done that, you're going to have this file sitting in your Downloads folder. So you're going to want to right-click that. If you're on Windows 11 like me, you're going to go to Show More Options, and you're going to see this little 7-Zip tab. I'm going to click Extract Files. It's going to take a second. Boom. Like so. And then you're going to have all these. You're going to have these six, five, sorry, five files. You're going to have these five files. Now, you need to install these into your game directory. Now, this is very easy. If you're on Steam, you can just, which you should be because this is the only platform it works on right now. But uh, you just go to Starfield, right-click it, go to Manage, Browse Local Files. This is exactly where you need to be. And you're just going to drag all this and drop it in here. Now, I, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. Now, once you've done this, there's only a couple other things you need to know. One is that you need to run this SFSE loader every time you run the game, or Starfield won't run. Uh, launching this will automatically launch Starfield. So, you're not going to click play here anymore. If you do, it's not a huge deal, it's just not going to run. So, if you ever do that by accident, just shut the game down, come back out and do that. So, what I would recommend you do is you either uh, pin it to start, or you could create a shortcut like this and then just drag it out onto your desktop. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm taking it a step further and I'm going to pin it to my taskbar because I'm going to be using it a lot, which I already did. It's down here. So now, as you can see, there is now an SFSE loader shortcut sitting on my desktop. So if I double click that, you'll see a little black box pop up there. It'll take a second and the game will launch. And that's literally it. You now have SFSE installed. There are no mods for it yet. But there will be soon, don't worry. So, everyone have some fun. Happy modding. 